I cried when I saw him and when they handcuffed him. I can't wait till I win this battle and be able to hug my husband again and for him to be with us. I'm 29 years old. I was born in Chihuahua, Mexico. I have been in the United States since the age of five. I ended up being in the immigration facility for 11 months. When you are in an immigration detention facility, you are not arrested and you have not been convicted of any crime. The staff put them in restraints, they tie them down, they throw them into solitary, they hit them, they abuse them. The lieutenant I talked to said that she was just doing her job and that I should have gotten out of her way. The part of Aurora that houses the GEO facility is in Ward 1. That is our heaviest Latino representation in the city and also our lowest income part of town. One day, a lot of people were outside with candles. I asked the person there and I asked them, can I join you? And they're like, yeah. They became my family. The goal of the camp is the immediate release of all people. And this center has already been facing lawsuits for medical negligence for deaths that have happened here. Mr. Samimi had been in the United States for over 40 years. He immigrated from Iran with his family. He was a lawful permanent resident. He was pulled over by ICE agents and arrested, and he was detained at the Aurora Detention Facility. Two weeks later, he died of cardiac arrest. And let me just say and, and clarify, maybe underscore, he didn't just die. They killed him. Que no tenemos atención médica, que nos dan comida echada a perder, que surgen enfermedades basado en la falta de higiene, que nos obligan a trabajar. The immigration deportation machine has always been really inhumane, even under the Obama administration. But the reality is, under this administration, things just seem to be getting worse. I remember it was a Tuesday. Tuesdays are deportations. The lawyer had called me. The guard says that he's getting ready to be deported that day. And while she was telling me, I was seeing the deportation bus go. It scared me. Did you get daddy back? I don't even know if he may be deported. I'm going to do everything that I can to get daddy back, baby. <laughs> the system has to go down. The fight's not over until this horrible, corrupt, plague of a system is abolished.